Hello, the topic for this video is Information Technology Management or IT Management. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. So what is IT Management? First of all, IT Management is a discipline. What kind of discipline is it? It is a discipline to manage IT resources. So IT Management is not only about managing IT resources, it is about managing IT resources as per business needs or requirements. So keep in mind that IT department is serving the needs for the business. Without the business department, IT department is not doing anything meaningful. So it has to manage the IT resources as per business requirements. When we use the term IT resources, what does that actually mean? So the term IT resources entails both entities, tangible assets that are owned by the IT department as well as the staff that is working to meet the needs of the IT department. I have explained the term IT infrastructure in detail in one of my other videos. So the term IT infrastructure refers to most of the tangible assets that come under the umbrella of IT resources, including hardware and facilities. Software can be considered tangible in this context. Network, keep in mind that staff, documentation and, bu and business processes do not come under the umbrella of IT infrastructure. So these are just examples, not a complete list of functions that are going on within the domain of IT management. Budgeting, staffing, organizing, controlling, planning, delivering services and so on. So keep in mind that the purpose of IT management is to manage IT resources as per business requirements and all these activities plus more will be going on within this IT management domain to meet the objective of managing the resources. And some of these activities may not apply to some companies, but th these are just examples. So IT management and management information systems are two related terms and sometimes confusing to some people as well. So here is a clarification. IT management is what we are talking in this session and this means management of IT resources. The term management of information systems refers to the management of information and the purpose behind managing the information is to provide better decision making to the business. So in short, IT management is about managing IT resources and MIS or management of information systems is about managing information. So the field of MIS would entail studying applications and other means of providing better decision making systems to the business. While the field of IT management entails everything that is related to managing IT resources. Keep in mind that in an ideal world the primary focus of IT management field is to make value creation possible in a company. So what is value creation? Value creation is the result of company establishing relationships with the external environment. What does IT has to do with that? IT has to be in line with the industry standard technology so that the company can talk to the partners and other entities in the environment. And IT plays a big role in, in medium to large size companies. So the better a company can establish relationship with the external environment, the more, the better value chain it, it will create. and that is the focus of the IT management to make creation of value chain possible. I pointed this out in the beginning of this video that IT department is serving the needs of the business. It's not sitting in a vacuum actually 
without the business IT is nothing so IT has to keep itself aligned with the business needs it's not the other way around it's not that the business department is changing their ways of doing things so that they can fit themselves with the technology used in the IT department is the other way around IT has to keep themselves aligned so that they can serve the strategies overall strategies of the company what I said earlier is true but now the trend is changing what I'm referring to is the fact that I mentioned IT as a separate entity serving the needs of the business that is true but now the trend is now more focusing on rather than seeing IT as a separate entity serving the business trend is now focusing on seeing IT and business together as one team both working together towards common goals in some companies there is a very strong wall between IT and business and in other companies uh, there is not a very solid partition so in future you will see this wall will get smaller and, and smaller and a time will come when both will be working as virtually one team in one of my other videos I have discussed the ongoing trends that are changing the market and also that are creating new roles and the educational departments also have responded to those trends by creating new degrees and programs I have discussed those as well in my other videos so the trend I'll discuss now is specifically related to the IT management field so what usually happens is silos are created within the IT departments and these silos are specific to set of resources serving a specific purpose for example one of the department in a company needs a database so let's say Microsoft Access Database is implemented and a team is created to support that database a server is, is established a network is created and let's say we have one server 10 computers and 20 people supporting the development and the whole project and yet within the same company there is another department or maybe another group in the same department that needs let's say another database and that department selected Oracle and the same thing is going on in another silo so we have like two sets of networks two sets of staff two sets of servers so we don't have economies of scale and there's a lot of redundancy uh, within the same company so things would have been more efficient if both would have both teams would have collaborated together and they they let's say they could have implemented one set of resources and both could have achieved their own purposes using the same set of resources so let's say both could have implemented one database and two applications w using the same database so one network one server two applications and one team supporting that just an example so what's happening is these silos are reducing with the passage of time and IT departments are moving towards converged infrastructure so you will see less of different as uh, departments using separate servers and you will see more of all the computers connected together working as one big giant machine and serving the needs of different departments and that is what a converged infrastructure terms refers to and this results into easier management rapid adjustments are possible and also easier maintenance as opposed to 10 computers um, working separately that is very difficult to maintain as compared to 10 computers connected together and working as a big one big giant machine five people let's say supporting each silo here and 15 people all together are more expensive than 10 people serving or maintaining one converged infrastructure so three different networks are more expensive to maintain as one uh, big network 
also you should be able to differentiate between the terms IT manager and project manager keep in mind that IT manager is a person who is managing some resources on ongoing basis the person could be managing hardware resources software resources network resources and uh, there could be different titles as well for for this designation IT manager in different companies but the key point here is that this person is managing resources on ongoing basis there is no end date to his role while a project manager always has an end date to his role and the end date of a project is the end date of his role in most cases so the project manager is first of all not managing some kind of IT resources project manager is managing project activities for the life of the project and also keep in mind that IT manager is managing IT resources while a project manager could belong to any department unless we are using the term IT project manager project manager could be in could also belong to an engineering department for example or uh, any other department because this person is simply managing a project it could be IT or non-IT project 